Hi everybody, we're here today and we're gonna do a little bit of a DIY that is not a planning video. Um, but it's a super cool, soothing type of video that can keep children entertained for hours. I could do this like all day. So this so this is, is so what cool. we're going to make. This is a 3D Zentangle um, sculpture. It. And I actually found the tutorial and the template for this on Facebook and I shared it on um, my like blog site kind of Facebook um, and we wanted to try this for homeschooling because it's origami it's it's origami and it's also art and it's also kind of like paper engineering and mathematics and it's just a really cool project but once I saw it and I saw the little video that went along with it um, I realized when looking at it that it would be a little bit of a challenge for someone to do based upon how they presented it. So, thought we would do this for homeschooling today <laughs> as much as... Um, this is the one that Mama did. We would do a little bit of a run through so that I could kind of show you with Rainbow Girl's assistance um, how easy it is to do and maybe some tips and tricks um, for how to do it so it's a little bit easier. So. We're going to um, go straight into the video and we're going to- And we're going to make mine. Yeah, and we're going to start the video with showing you kind of like an aerial view of this so that you can see it just a little bit better. And then we're going to go into the directions and show you the step-by-step -step of just how easy it is or what we found to be easier um, ways to kind of do it. And we will link the template for this that is not my design. I got this online and I found it via Facebook. Um, but we'll link the template for this in the description of this video, and we really hope that you enjoy this video today. Like I said, this can keep children entertained for hours. <laughs> so let's go ahead and watch the video. So what you need for this tutorial is you need some coloring material, and these are the coloring pencils that we have. I mean, these are soft core Prismacolors, and I've shared this in other videos, but I work and do professional artwork, so that's why I have this kind and this, this setup. Um, but any coloring pencils will do, um, and I can suggest to you actually my favorite kind of um, academic or just scholastic level. Um, so um, just really good coloring pencils. My favorite kind of coloring pencils is, are by a company called Prang, and they are actually um, a, a company that is associated with Ticonderoga, so the Dixon Ticonderoga pencils. Um, you need a glue stick, so this is my favorite type of glue stick to use. And um, clear tape would be great, but washi tape works well too. So washi tape, even though they didn't um, suggest this in the tutorial, um, we are we found that it was actually really helpful. A pair of scissors, and then um, the template over here, which Rainbow Girl is working on. And she's working on coloring this so that it, it is in this pattern over here. And we did our best to try and um, follow the directions here when putting this together so that it made this that you can see I can even move this one-handed it, it's very easy and this is all just <laughs> tape and um, or paper tape like washi tape and paper which is really kind of cool so she's gonna keep coloring this and finish it and she is actually um, trying to follow just like a very similar color palette that I did here but you can do any color that you want um, and you could just as well you could do designs on this like Zen tangle kind of line drawing there um, but she's going to finish coloring this following the pattern. The, and after this, we might use some stickers to decorate. Yeah, you could always put stickers on here if you wanted to. Like you your name that. stickers when, and one on each um, colored flap, so then it looks really cool when it comes out. Mm -hmm. So she's going to keep coloring, and we are going to continue on with this. And I'm just going to show you some of the tips and the tricks that... Um, helped us to make this a little bit more easily because it was a little bit frustrating when we were trying to assemble it. Mm. So I did not film this part, but what all we did is we, after we finished coloring this, we mm -hmm. went ahead and we cut this out. So you can see this. And now we're gonna go through the process of folding this. And this is probably one of the more confusing parts of this when it comes to trying to follow the directions in order for it to be um, correctly assembled or at least more easily assembled so that it, it makes this 3D movable kind of sculpture. So Rainbow Girl is going to assist and she's going to help to fold this and we're going to get started with that. So let's just pull her up to the table. So what Rainbow Girl is going to do is she's going to fold this on the fold, the dotted lines here, it's called a valley fold because what happens is when you fold it 
color to color, so she's gonna fold it this way. When you, when you fold it and it's a valley fold, it looks like this, like it makes a valley, okay, like that. She's gonna fold this one like this, and then she's going to fold this one like this. She's going to fold all the way down and do a nice sharp crease and then unfold it. So she's going to do that right now. I'm very carefully connecting it because I normally don't do it even at all. And the thing with doing origami, origami or... <laughs> Or Tongue twister. Yeah, or paper crafting like this, and especially with folding it and manipulating paper, is it just takes practice. But the great thing is, is that by doing this with a printable, you can do this as many times as you need to in order to get practice. Ugh, I can't talk today. In order to get practice, and the more you practice, the better you become at it. And you'll find that over time then, doing things like this, even these directions and just this whole style of paper crafting um, or sculpting, uh, these are very, very simple techniques, and once you once you do them often enough, you learn um, what the basics are, and then See? it'll become easier and easier. Sometimes it's hard for me to make them even. So she's doing a nice sharp crease, color to color, so those are all valley folds. And she's going all the way down on every single dotted line. And you have to do it this way too, so then it's easier for you and you don't end up having to do it over again. Like totally increase the rest, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, that one is a little bit off, so oh. we can open it back up and then we can just try and fix it by lining it up here. Line it up along the edge like this and then you can just fix that. That should be right there. Oh, normally I have trouble there. doing that. So, okay. 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 So now what she's going to do is she's going to unfold it all after she gets every crease done. And this should be, oh, that one's all creased, so we're done. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to fold, now we need to fold a mountain fold because when you fold a mountain fold, when you fold it like like this, it it makes a little bit of like a mountain shape like, like that. That's why, yeah. and that's hard to show you with my one hand, but that's the idea. So she is going to fold these back like this across every single diagonal, like and, that. And she, and Mama's gonna help me just um, drill to each line that I should do each time, so then I don't end up having to do it over. Yeah. So Cause normally gonna... sometimes that happens cause I'm a little clumsy sometimes. Well, no, it's not clumsy. It's just you're still learning and you're practicing. Okay. Yeah, I'm so very we're gonna young. fold this one and we're gonna fold this one then we're gonna fold this one, and then fold this one. So, so basically fold, like a striped one? Uh-huh, like a diagonal stripe. So we're gonna fold white to white. And when I say white to white, see how this right here good is side, white, white to good white. Good side facing out. Um, well, color, colorful side is facing the back. Out. So white to white, and then this way we did color to color. Oh, sorry. So white to white, and we're gonna fold diagonally all the way down, and then fold back out. Rainbow Girl's gonna do that now. Fold this one. Okay, I'm having trouble doing it. It's easier for me to do it on the line if I'm doing it this way. Being very careful and twisting the line back up to where I want it to be. And we do it all the way past the dot up to here. See? Like a mountain. Okay. So see how it makes like a mountain like this? That's why it's called a mountain fold. <laughs> okay, and so next she's gonna do this one. Whoa, this one's a big one. So we start here, then, oh. Then it might be confusing with the colors just because, you know, the green, it seems like you're just following the green line, but really you're not. Okay. It's like that. So she's That's going to the do the last I would diagonal have. right there. <laughs> okay. And this should be what you have now. You have it so that you have all your diagonal lines. Twisties. And then you open it back up. Now she's going to do Looks like mermaids go the diagonal bit. folds that go this way across like that. 
looks like mermaid scales a little bit. It does. When it, when it will be like that, it will probably it look, like, look mermaid a little like mermaid scales. So now she's gonna do the other diagonal lines the same way that she did those first ones. So this will probably only take a quick sec because I'm fast in my art, right, Mama? Well, you're getting better. Yeah, I have art in my veins, <laughs> yeah. in my blood. Art in your blood? Yep. You're naturally inclined to art and design. But yep. honestly, I think that most everybody is. It's just a matter of them kind of finding their groove, the thing that they really enjoy doing groove. when it comes to <laughs> design and crea creation. And I think most people are naturally inclined to create. What other it's ones kind of do I have everybody. to do? Oh, okay, only the last this one. one right there. Yeah. Yay! Okay. Oh, it looks like mermaid scales yeah. now. Yeah. So now what we're going to do is we're going to assemble this. We're going to put glue on these right there. So. And this glue, it disappears. It starts out purple, and then as it dries and it sets, it um, it turns um, clear. White. So the great thing is, is that um, you can see where you place it and what we're going to do now is we're going to assemble this so that this turns part, into the dot this. when you just kind of fold it into a little bit of a roll you're going to glue it so that this goes like that if now trying to put the we go, like screw that. back on should look a little like that you know all the way down we're also going to secure it with washi tape because we just found that that just made the most sense in order for it to properly be able to manipulate see there's like, washi like tape right way. there yeah but that's not a big deal so we're gonna go ahead and assemble this and and put the glue kind of makes it look cooler when it points, has this washi tape on it like this and then we're going to put the washi tape to secure it a little bit better and then we'll be able to show you the finished product theme and then we're going to take this and we're going to curl it so then and there's an open end right there it's hard to see but there you see it and we're gonna take this and we're gonna put that end tab in there and it will make a circle. And then we're gonna tape it so then it doesn't come out. Cause we tested it and it almost came out on this one. Yeah, so we're gonna fix that right now. So we have taped it on that seam there and it's also taped on that seam. And now we're gonna test it out. Mm -hmm. This is mine. And there you have it. Whoa! And it works. And it works really well. It just needs to do a little more like circling motion just to end up like mama's because this is the, like fresh paper. It's a little bit stiff. But using washi tape is really helpful for securing the joints so then it stays yeah. together. And that is that is the end of this DIY. So we really hope that you enjoyed this DIY today and it was helpful for you and it wasn't planning but this is what we do with our time when we're not planning. We like to do stuff like this, especially for homeschooling. So um, we're so um, glad that you spent time with us today and we hope that you enjoyed this and that maybe you try it this at home. And there is Rainbow Girls that worked out just great. And we thank you so very much for joining us today and we look forward to seeing you in the next daily video um, that I might be doing by myself because Rainbow Girl is gonna go and hang out with her cousins. Going to go they and have a go- a giant pool. Yeah, they have a pool there and she's gonna get to use her mermaid tail. So maybe we'll try and do a video with that. So thanks so much for joining us today. We look forward to seeing you in another daily video and we will see you then. Bye. Bye.